Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because today we are going to learn shortcut trick to multiply by 11. It's going to be very interesting trick. Have a look. Let's suppose you want to multiply 23 by 11. 23 multiply by 11 is going to be very easy. Just place 1 0 in the left side and 1 0 in the right side for your understanding. And directly we can write the answer. What we need to do, just add, start adding from the end. Like this 0 and 3, add them. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 2 plus 0 is 2. So, 23 multiply 11, its answer is 253. See how easy it is. Let me move to some another question. Let's suppose we have, you need to multiply, let's suppose, 32 with 11. Okay, you want to multiply 32 by 11. But I have told you, just place a 0 in the left and right and start adding from the end. 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5 and 3 plus 0 is 3. Final answer will be 352. It is applicable for 2 digit numbers, 3 digit numbers, 4 digit numbers, any numbers you can apply. You can try out. Let's suppose you have this number 21321321 multiply by 11. This is a very big number you want to multiply. Using this rule it is very easy to do. Let us start doing, let's suppose you place a 0 here and 0 on this side and keep on adding. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 1, 4, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 3, 5, 3 plus 1, 4, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 0 is 2. You can check on calculator. This is going to be the multiplication answer with 11. I am giving you one question to practice. Let's suppose you have 232 multiply 11. You can practice this question and can write your answer. And let us see if you are giving the correct answer or not. And let me move to next scenario of this question. This concept. For example, sometimes what will happen. Let's suppose you get 28 multiply by 11. Right. I am using the same trick. But there is one change here. What is the change? Let us try to understand. Let's suppose you place the 0 on both sides. You start adding 0 plus 8 is 8. Till now there is no problem. Then 8 plus 2 is 10. See it is a 2 digit number. So we need to write it in the bracket. And then 2 plus 0 is 2. So obviously this is not the final answer. right? Because in the middle I get 2 digit number. So what to do with that? We will write 8 as it is. From 10, I will write 0. Then this 1 will be carried forward to the next value. 1 plus 2 is 3. So final answer is 302. I am doing one more question. Let's suppose you have 37 multiply 11. Now for 37 multiply 11, what will I do? I will place 0 on both sides. Left and right. Start adding. 0 plus 7, 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 3 plus 0 is 3. Again the same situation. So what we need to do? Write 7. From 10 I will write 0. And this 1 goes to next place. 3 plus 1 is 4. My answer is going to be 407. I hope you are able to understand. Try out one question. You do this question. 28 multiply 11. Practice this question and write your answer. And I am coming to three digit number question. Three digit number means let's suppose 349. Let's suppose this is the number we are taking to multiply. What will we do now? Same rule, place zeros in the left and right side and start adding from the end. 0 plus 9, 9. 9 plus 4, 13. But do remember, if it is a two digit number, I am going to write it in the bracket. 4 plus 3 is 7. 3 plus 0 is 3. This is what we get. Final answer is 9. From 13, 
we will write 13 here and 1 will be added to the next value. 1 plus 7 is 8. Then 3 as it is. So, 3, 8, 3, 9 is the final answer. I hope you are able to understand it. And see, this was very easy trick and it is 100% going to be useful not only in competitive exams but in regular school curriculum as well. For example, any question of geometry where volumes are involved surface areas are involved where pi is used pi value is 22 over 7 right and usually in any question you will see 22 can be cancelled with uh, number 2 where it comes at 11 whenever 11 comes for example let me give you an example you will have better idea for example you have something like this right this is the kind of calculation you may get let's suppose somewhere we get whenever this 2 and 22 is cancelled and 11 is coming then you can apply the rule in the numerator and this is 100% going to be beneficial anyways uh, i hope you are able to understand the trick and if at all you think that this is this video is helpful for others please share it with other students as well thank you so much